This is how to paint garage doors. So this was our house a year ago before we painted it and made some exterior changes. To pick the paint color, I go into great detail on my blog, livelikeyourrich.com, on how to do that, so check that out. Once you have a paint color picked, you'll want to also purchase a primer with the same base. So if it's an exterior latex, then you want an exterior latex primer. And then you'll begin by cleaning thoroughly. So I used a pressure washer in the morning and then I made sure that it was completely dry, including the crevices in between the, the panel of the garage door. Once it's dry, you want to make sure the weather and things are cooperating. You don't want to paint when it's too windy, too hot or humid. And you also don't want the surface to be hot. So if you have a garage door that's getting getting hit by the sun in the morning, you'll want to wait until it's been shaded for a few hours so it has cooled down. So you just want to make sure that the garage door is not hot or even very warm or else it's going to be a lot harder to paint. So first I went over the sample blocks that I painted to determine which color I wanted with primer and gave that a really good coat. And then I went over the entire garage using a roller and I'll include which one in the supply list. And then once that dried, I went over it one more time. So two coats of primer. Once you have your paint um, ready and the primer is completely dry, you'll start in the upper corner and using a paintbrush, get into the crevices where the roller can't get into. And then with the roller, you want to go in a smooth lines, not pushing too hard because you don't want to get any drips or splatters. And then when you move on to like a new panel or a new section, you want to blend the old in with the new. And this is why it's imperative that the garage door isn't warm or hot. You want the paint to still have some wetness to it when you come back around so that you can blend the sections together. A tip that I found was helpful is to use a roller with that's covered on the end so that you can kind of turn it sideways and use the very top of it to kind of get into the crevices of the garage door. I had my kid open up the garage door a ways once I was done with the first line of, along the top and then I ran the roller through the crease between both panels. And even though it was a little sticky for a few weeks, it finally did cure and dry, but I do like the fact that when the garage door opens, you can see that it's one uniform color and it's not the old color inside the crevices. And then after that, I just waited for it to dry fully, so 24 hours, and then I went over it again. If you get any um, runs or thick lines or splatters, you can use like a really high grit sandpaper, kind of sand it down and make it smooth again before you do the final coat. I also painted around the edge of the garage and it was stucco and this paint worked great on that too. It was Benjamin Moore latex exterior aura. I've been very happy with the final results and um, the paints lasted, it stayed a nice rich color even the past year as I've been observing it. Of course it's gotten dirty but it's able to wash clean and there have been no cracks or chips or fading so I'm really happy about that. If you have any questions feel free to comment on my blog and if you would like more information there's a supply list on my blog as well just go to live like you are rich .com and search how to paint a garage door thanks